All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming off the high from the last video on Hulk where he just completely destroyed Sentry and Dr. Doom in PvP, we're jumping in and we're actually going to be testing out my man Luke Cage looking as sharp as ever. My man is rocking 135,000 HP, not as much as the Hulk. The Hulk was rocking, I believe, 144, but this is still pretty good. Luke Cage has a mighty CTP of regeneration because this is one that I pulled from World Boss Legend. I rerolled it a couple of times. We got the success rate at 40% there and whatnot. So should be interesting to see what my Luke Cage does almost what a year later. It's gonna be spicy, man. So for Luke Cage, he's one of my favorite characters in the Marvel comics and in this game. Honestly, I wish he was better for PvE, but again, not everything is about PvE. I use him every single week in Alliance Conquest and he always gets me good results. So that's amazing. So I have two ISO sets for this man. I have Power of Angry Hulk and I have Drastic Density, which gives him an HP shield to make him even more of a tank because I just want to be toxic. I was born to cause pain and suffering <laughs> anyway so this is what my luke cage looks like he has four oldest blessings for hp and then he has um what is that uh eight hp who's on there with some physical attack i need to get those physical attack up to um six stars but we'll work on that later and yeah he's 1500 in the world so yeah a few, but a few people have a better luke cage than me they probably have a bunch of unnecessary odin's blessings on him giving him more attack but i just want him to tank and make people's life miserable that's just what it is so i want more hp i wish we had more um hp um odin's blessings options i would definitely stack this man full of it full of it okay anyways that being said this is the uh uniform oh I should get his other uniforms ranked up. That's why my rank is so low. It's not that these guys are better than me. I know what I need to do. I got to get these uniforms to Mythic. That's what's going on. Because all these other uniforms, um, they increase your, your overall rank for your character. Okay, that's what's going on there. Cool. So this is the team we're going to be rocking here. Luke Cage's leadership. Because Luke Cage gives you, as you can see right there, immunity to physical damage. But more importantly... You get um debuff removal i was thinking about rocking with um sentry but luke cage is tanky enough to stay alive so we don't really need sentry to stall for us and then we're gonna rock with jessica jones because jessica on her uniform here is gonna give us you can see right there when her hp drops below 35 percent we heal yeah boys we heal for 25 percent plus we get that whopping 95 percent damage reduction it's only 100 yeah you gotta wait 100 seconds to get it so it's once per fight but still it's nice plus on jj you can see right here defender allies get 50 percent all attack so we don't need no sentry bro we good we good off that and then we got colossus with uh, the ctp there and he also gives us some more damage reduction so it should be interesting to see if this has enough tank for us to just walk through some top boys right here so we're gonna go up against the first five people here and see how my Luke Cage does. Let's get it. I know Black Friday is coming up, so some of you guys are uh, wondering if uh, Luke Cage is still worth um, investing in. He's not using his third skill. Okay, there it is. Now he used it. Yo, it's so nice seeing two, like, you know, two tanks going against, like, you don't get to see this very often where characters are so tanky in PvP that they stay alive. Um, he used his Awakened skill, but um, he should have used his third skill before the Awakened skill. It's fine, though. My concern is, is Colossus going to kill us? Nope. <laughs> he just walked through that, bro. He just walked through that. Okay, let's go fight the second guy, bro. We have so much juice so much juice all right so looking like my boy still got some type of sauce so on my free to play account it looking like luke cage is definitely gonna be luke cage and hulk looking like i might have to pick up uniforms for them i don't have crystals like that on the free to play but man it's nice it's nice to see like characters that are not tier two natives out here in these uh Timeline streets laying the smack down on the candy acid. So uh that's two. We might even do more than more than the first five guys because Luke Cage is just flying through these boys. Um what do we got? 
Um, is that the same team? Yeah, okay, let's skip over this guy because he has the same team. Okay, there we go. Let's see how Luke Cage does against Wolverine specifically. This one should be interesting. Doctor Doom is definitely going to be a problem. Um, but here's the thing. Um, Hulk was able to get through Doctor Doom. So I expect no less from Luke Cage even though he has a little bit less HP. Come on, come on Luke. Tank! Come on you, you bulletproof! You bulletproof, my guy. Come on. Ah, uh, his attacks are missing. Oh, he still got it, bro. Oh, okay. This is where um, Hulk struggled to deal with the physical reflect from Colossus. Yo. 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 Okay, we're gonna need, um, we're gonna need an artifact for Luke Cage at some point. I don't know what they're gonna give him. Maybe more damage reduction on it, but like, yo, where Hulk came up short, ah, uh, my man, my man's actually delivered. Okay. So is it safe to say that Luke Cage is better than Hulk? I think that's been the consensus, like, the consensus for a while now. Not only does he have his own debuff removal leadership, which is top tier for PvP, but he's just as tanky. And when it comes to dealing with the physical reflect from Colossus, he just walks through it like it's nothing because he has that bulletproof soul, you know? Okay, he just keeps healing like a trio. Jeez! Okay, pop the third. Oh no, he popped the, the awakened skill. He should have popped the third first. When you're watching the AI play, you can, all, you can always see the mistakes, but it's fine. Yo, one tap Colossus. Okay, keep in mind guys, this Wolverine has his artifact. He has his artifact. Okay, Luke Cage does not have an artifact. And Luke Cage is still walking through that. Bulletproof. Don't play with us. Oh man, so like, if you don't have Sentry, this is a team that you could use. Because we're consistently just murking tier 2 natives, bro. I'm a, I want to do this three times just to see the consistency of it. Because you guys know me, right? I don't care if you can do something once. If it takes you a hundred times to get it right once. It's, you can basically not do it. You know what I'm saying? That's not realistic. So I want to see like on a balance of probability, how many times am I going to put him up against Dr. Doom and how many times is he going to fail and how many times is he going to succeed? That's what I want to see, right? Nice. And then against, ooh. Oh, wow. Colossus actually got him there. Okay. So that happened. Not going to hide anything from you guys. So... It looks like there is a chance of Colossus killing him. If, um, can, can JJ actually finish this? Let's see. I doubt it. I really doubt it. Yeah, JJ's not very, very much more than a support, right? She's just like a cheerleader. Go, Luke! You got it, daddy! <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, Dr. Doom is getting shredded. Um, Colossus countered us, but I feel like if Colossus didn't, um, interfere with us there, Logan would have gotten worked over. Um, let's try this team as well. If we can find a Wolverine team, like where Luke Cage and Wolverine can go head to head with nobody else in between, um, it should be interesting. But yeah, this team, this team is actually legit. So if you're looking for something to run on autoplay and get you a ton of wins, uh, Luke, Big Daddy Luke, D Luke, the man himself. And he's not even using his third skill as much as he should. Like, he literally should be using his third skill off cooldown. So, if you could program your AI in a um, timeline battle, that would be really cool. Because, like, for Luke, as soon as his third comes off cooldown, he should be putting it back up. Oh, yeah. Jessica Jones is giving them mind immunity. So, like, yo. I completely forgot about that. Not too many characters are mind-based these days. But, like, that's a thing. That's additional protection that um, having JJ, like JJ, nobody talks about her like that, but she's actually quite the support. Like the damage reduction, the heal and the 50% all attack. That is a lot, man. That is a lot. If it was 50% damage increase and not 50% all attack, that would be better. But still 50% all attack is a lot. Not to mention the uh, damage reduction and the heal. So, 
I'm happy. I'm happy with my purchase of the jewel uniform for sure, for sure. So I guess this is a two in one. You can get to see Jessica Jones's value because trust me when I say if we remove JJ from this team, you would notice a substantial difference. I could do that if you guys want to see. Now let's uh let's go fight somebody else. Who else we got? Is there any silver surfers this week? Any silver surfers? Ooh, hold on. This is good. This works. We don't have to worry about Colossus. <laughs> in case you were wondering if Colossus' uniform is still worth buying, yes, okay? There's a reason why he's in this team. He definitely offers value. One of the oldest uniforms in the game, and he just never loses value. Like, his passive is so good. So, he's just like an A1 character, man. Okay, so this guy has an artifact on Sentry, but it's not his. It's just a random artifact. And this guy does have an artifact. I think it's a two star. It's not Wolverine's. Oh, it is Wolverine's artifact. Well, you can see for yourself, Wolverine with his artifact still pales in comparison to Luke Cage. That's just what it is, bro. Like Luke Cage is just straight up better than Wolverine. Isn't that crazy? Now do keep in mind that for, uh, what you call it? For ABX, obviously Wolverine is considered to be meta even though I still use my Venom. By the way, if you guys want to see some Venom gameplay, whether it's in ABX or in Warbot Legend, because I've seen a couple people asking if he's still worth buying, um, I can do that for you guys. Let me know. But you can see Luke Cage is just walking through this. He's the man, bro. That bulletproof soul. Look at that. Logan is trying to heal and Luke Cage is just doing so much damage to him, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's actually crazy. So like, Thinking about this and looking at what Luke Cage is doing, right? What do you guys think he's missing as a character? Right? Besides attack, right? Because if they gave him more attack, he would be killing faster and he would be better for um, World Boss Legend and stuff. Because in World Boss Legend, he's not that great. I tested him with a CTP of energy when I had like 15% pierce on my cards and he was not really that great. Like he was okay. He was mid, right? Let's see what's going on here. So the heal popped and then we just like retaliate and then we just start beaten sentry into submission pop your third skill there you go we accumulate a bunch of damage and then we're just basically gonna wreck him i think pvp characters are the characters that should ideally be getting damage accumulation based on damage taken because you can really see the difference in the damage numbers if you pay attention when the accumulation is up like it's actually crazy and ebony can't do anything to us yeah, this team is legit, boys. Actually legit. So, like, if you're free to play, this team might be better than building Dr. Doom and all those guys. Not because um, it's a better overall team. It's just because the team itself to assemble, Avengers, assemble. It's just cheaper, right? It's just cheaper, straight up. And you're getting similar results, if not better results. Um, let's go down and see if we have any, any Silver Surfers today, this week. No? You know what? Let's run. Let's run against. I seen a team that had okay double support for Doctor Doom. Let's see what's up here. So two supports for Doctor Doom. Can he take out my um? What is this? A brilliant? No, this is a mighty. Okay, so we're both rocking mighties. Okay, he's actually doing really really well against me. But we still got him. Wow. Okay, Luke, rock your shoulder back, yes sir, and then just clap him, pop your six. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Luke is just straight up better than Dr. Doom, man, no matter how you slice it, for PvP. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, why would people give authority to Doom? Like, how often is Luke Cage bad? I can't, I can't think of a time when I see him being banned, really. Let's run that back. Let's see if um, Dr. Doom actually can... Um, pull it together and actually beat my Luke Cage because literally the only person we've lost to is Colossus like everybody else we've just walked through and I think Silver Surfer is unfortunately banned this week either that or nobody's using him and if nobody's using him then I can't really test against him and uh, that's just the bottom line let's see what's up here maybe if Doctor Doom has a brilliant then he could beat up my Luke Cage. Maybe my Luke Cage is just a god, bro. I'm gonna definitely uh, rank up my other uniforms for Luke Cage. Get my rank up. 
so y'all can see that big flex. Anyways, um, yeah, Doctor Doom. How we've yet to lose to a single Doctor Doom or Sentry. Literally, the only person that can beat me is Colossus, and even that, like, sure, I fight him like 20 times and he wins once. Can we even call that a victory? I guess. <laughs> I guess. Like, he's dead. It, it's, yo, Luke is just a menace, bro. Actually, just a menace. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, both of these uniforms definitely worth buying. Same goes for Colossus. As you can see, this is one of those teams that if you're balling on a budget, 3,000 crystals into this team, and you build them out as best as you can, you're going to get amazing results. Colossus, you don't really got to do too much for but um, you definitely got to pick up the uniform for JJ. You don't even need the Transcender because transcending her doesn't make her a better support. And that's really all she is in this team. So you just got to buy the uniform, transcend Luke Cage, give him everything you can, and then just buy the uniform for Colossus and get his four-star passive unlocked. Well, actually, you got to get up to tier two to get the full passive. But yeah, overall, top tier team. In my opinion, one of the best teams in the game for PvP. Even this clown, love Logan to death. He's better than he's ever been, right? But even him um yeah pales in comparison to my luke cage might do a video with a similar team setup for logan if you guys want to see it smash the like button and i'll catch you guys later peace